Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I want to go over some pros and cons of beauty subscription services like the beauty boxes, Ipsy, Sephora Play, um, the Allure box, BoxyCharm, Macy's box, um, beauty, beauty Beyond box. There's tons of them, you guys, and I feel like this is a fair topic to go over all the pros and cons of them in my own personal opinion because I have been receiving Ipsy and Sephora Play and BoxyCharm for over a year now, and I just wanted to go over a few things that I find that are really, really good about the subscription services and some negative points about them. So if you guys want to check out my opinion on this topic, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the pros for this one to get us started off. So one of the pros that I have personally is the fact that I get new products to try. I love trying new things and seeing if they work for me, seeing if they don't, letting you guys know what worked for me, what didn't work, having things in my empties that are different than something that I may have purchased myself, finding different brands that I really like. So having those new products to try is really refreshing to me and it feels really good. Another pro is I love getting boxes in the mail. Like <laughs> my husband's a mailman and he hates delivering parcels is what they're actually called. And I love getting parcels in the mail. <laughs> like it's so exciting to see a box on my porch or in my, um, in my mailbox. And it's like a present. It's the craziest thing, but it's like an adult present because you don't know what you're going to get, especially if you don't look at any of the spoilers. I'm really bad about spoilers and I tend to look at them, but I have a very um, short memory span of stuff like that. So I completely forget what I was going to get in there and then I go into it and I'm like, oh my God, it's so exciting. It's so new. I love it. And it's like a present every single month. And I personally get Ipsy, BoxyCharm, and Sephora Play. So I get three presents every month. I don't know. That's just something that's like, it's super on the pro list for me and it keeps me excited and keeps me interested in new and different products. Another pro with finding, with having new products to try is I have found tons of my favorites in these boxes. One thing in particular is the Elizabeth Mott What Up Beaches bronzer that I just finished the sample of and I've been moving on to using the full size. I like the Elizabeth Mott blushes and I have all three of them now. I love some of the face masks that I've found. I have since repurchased. I love some of the oils that have been in there like the Tatcha Pure Cleansing Oil. I love that one. I have found tons of hair products, which I do get the Walmart box too. I forgot to mention that because that's only seasonal. But I found hair products in the Walmart box and the Target boxes, which I've gotten those occasionally. I have found so many excellent products that I never would have spent my money on to try, but being able to try them is amazing. Like even today, I have the Dry Bar Full Blast um, dry volume or whatever in my hair and it was really my curls were looking super flat before I put it in and I just flipped my hair upside down and just kind of sprayed it and tousled it in my hair and I feel like they're so much more voluminous now like I don't curl my hair often but the curls tend to be very flat when I do curl my hair and it's just like I don't know it's got so much volume today and I never would have purchased that that product on my own because I just wouldn't have but finding it in a box and then being able to use it, I love it and I would totally repurchase it. So I have found so many favorite products when using and when, you know, opening up subscription boxes. Another pro that I would say that you can kind of weigh the scale at being a pro or a con is like the prices. I think Ipsy for $10 and Sephora Play for $10.60 because you have to pay for tax and I'm in Michigan so we pay a 6% tax. I think that those are great prices. Like truly great prices for having five to six products every single month, new things to try, things that will last you quite a while in some cases. Like some of my creams and stuff that I've gotten last me months. And I just, I think it's totally worth it, especially because I pay the money for the Sephora sample boxes anyways. So why wouldn't I pay for a subscription service, even though you don't get to technically pick out what you get, but the Sephora favorites boxes, you don't get to pick out what you get in those anyways. So I do think that the price is good. BoxyCharm is a little bit more expensive at $21.95, I think it is, a month. 
But the difference with BoxyCharm is that you get full-size products and you get five full-size products. They usually include brushes and when they do, it's usually more than one. It's usually a brush set of, you know, two or three. And I've really found some great BoxyCharm items too. The value of the BoxyCharm is usually over $100. You usually get a full-size palette in there, which is amazing. I haven't bought a palette in quite a while because of that fact. And I don't know, it's just, it's so great. And I think that my total amount that I spend per month is about $41.50 or $41.60, sorry, because I pay $21. For boxy charm but I pay $41.60 every single month for three presents and tons of cool products to try so I really think that the prices aren't that bad I mean if you add that up over time and put away that $41.60 a month into a bank account or whatever it does add up but me personally I really do enjoy getting those products and I'm gonna be going on a no buy soon so me going on a no buy is me not getting anything, anything, any little bonuses that I might want. And the problem with that is that I really enjoy getting the new product. So I'm going to keep my boxes when I go on my no buy so that I don't feel completely deprived of things that I love doing, like getting new products. Another pro is could be a pro or a con for some people, but you get travel size items. So when I went to Florida, I brought tons of my items from my Ipsy and my BoxyCharm and my Sephora Play because they were travel size and they were so easy to put in my suitcase, in my luggage, stuff like that. And if you're flying, you need a lot of travel size items. And if you know that these items work for you because you've been able to use it before or you've been using it for the last month and you still have half of the container left, then why not bring those travel size items instead of purchasing travel size items which are may or may not be more or less money than the full size but you already have them in your collection so you can go through your collection and figure out what you want to bring with you so i do think that the fact that they're travel size items is very helpful to a lot of people that do travel i don't travel as often but i really appreciated having all those items when i was traveling another pro i think is that you get high-end high-end and drugstore items so like i said i do get walmart and um, target on occasion and i do get a lot of drugstore items in there and i do like a lot of those but in most of the boxes like the ipsy boxy charm and macy's and um, sephora you get a lot of high-end items things that are a lot like really expensive and things that maybe would have been 60 or 70 dollars on their own which is crazy to me that they put those in a subscription box for 20 bucks what i don't know it just i think it's a really good way to try those high-end items because i am like i said not going to purchase those on my own and that's just silly for me to even try something that i'm not sure of if it costs that much money i'm just not going to do that i don't have I don't have a disposable income like some people do. I mean, that's great if you do have that, but I don't. And I know many of you that are watching me probably don't either. You probably work regular jobs and have, you know, a regular life. And that's just how it is. We don't have the extra money to pay $60 for a cleanser. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. But that was the last bit of pros that I have. I'm going to go on to cons. I do have a lot more, which I can make a secondary video on this if you guys are interested. But I'm going to move on to cons at this point. So one con that I will say when I talked about the travel sizes is some of them are so small of travel sizes that you get one or two uses. How am I supposed to know if I like that product if I got one or two uses? That's just going to go in my sample empties and get not thought of again. Why would I, why? Why would I use, why would I go and purchase a product that I only got to use twice and I don't even know if it worked for my skin? I don't know if it was a smell I liked. I don't, I don't know. Why? Why would I do that? That's silly. So if I were to say something to these Boxy Charm and Ipsy in particular, give us a little bit more of a sample size so we really actually know if we like the product or not. Because you're not gonna sell me on a product if I only got to use it twice. I'm sorry, it's just, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Another con that I have, and this one's mostly for Ipsy and BoxyCharm, is that it's hard to find the products that I like. So I've gotten quite a few items in my Ipsy, especially Ipsy's really bad about it. 
about giving you items from brands that, first of all, you never heard of, which I think is actually really cool, but brands that are really hard to find. I can't find these brands at Ulta and Sephora where I could just walk in or go online and get my points for it. I have to buy it on their individual website. And a lot of times that's a little bit more frustrating to me because then I have to pay for shipping because maybe I only want that one item or I end up putting more in my cart to make it free shipping because I'm a fan of free shipping. But I end up putting more in my cart and then I don't like the other things that I got. I only liked the one product item that I had tried and I got. So I would say that I, I think they should have an easier way for us to be able to find these products and to purchase these products. I do, like I said, I do appreciate that we get a lot of indie brands and a lot of lesser known brands, but I'd like a easier way to buy these items. Maybe if Ipsy had like a special spot on their website, I know they have a lot of brand offers on their website, but they're typically higher end, you know, well-known brands. I want them to have a list of maybe all the things you bought and click on this link and there's the website, there you go. So I don't have to go and search for it because I'm lazy. Just saying. Another con, because I do get three boxes plus a Walmart and plus an occasional Target box, I am actually somewhat overwhelmed with the amount of products I have to try. I have since stopped filming unboxing videos because I don't have enough time to try all of these items in the boxes and I don't want to have 60 open items in two months time where I, I things are going to go bad because I opened it and I wanted to try it once and I never got around to trying it again and now it's open and it's going to be thrown away because it's a waste. You know what I'm saying? So I do get a little bit overwhelmed with all the items that I have, but for the past three months I have been putting all of my subscription boxes in this one bag. So stuff like this, like this pretty vulgar blush. I never got around to trying it because I've got a million blushes right now. And like a mascara, I don't want to open another mascara because I have a million open right now. And this BoxyCharm palette, I really want to do a look with the blue color in here. I might end up doing a um, Instagram look on this one. But you know what I'm saying? Like there's so many items in here that I haven't even been able to touch or swatch or try because I'm so overwhelmed with the amount of products I have. Yes, I know an easy fix to that would be simply just discontinue some of my you know subscription services but I don't want to do that because I really like them and sometimes um, Ipsy and BoxyCharm and Sephora they go on a wait list and I don't want to be put on a wait list if I'm ready to get new products again so for me I just keep them it's only you know a little bit of working time I always compare my money to my working time and for me each month getting three presents a month with tons of new products to try it's worth my working time for that month so I will continue on my subscription boxes okay another thing that drives me crazy that it's definitely a con for me is all of the ipsy bags and the Sephora bags so BoxyCharm just comes in the box here's the products go away not really but you know what I mean I can just throw that in the recycle bin I'm good to go but Ipsy and BoxyCharm, they come with a bag and they, or no, Ipsy and Sephora. Sephora comes with a bag and Ipsy comes with like the zipper pouch. I don't need any more of those. Stop sending them to me. I would rather get that pink envelope for the Ipsy with just all the products shoved inside. I don't want any more of those bags. What am I supposed to do with those? I end up donating them or when I do a giveaway, I'll throw one in there or when I give um, makeup products to a friend, I'll end up giving them one of those. I'm just sick of getting all these extra bags and zipper pouches. I don't need any more of them. So that's one con that I definitely have because I don't have anywhere else to put them now and I'm about to put a big donation box um, to my local Salvation Army because I'm sick of seeing them. I've only kept quite a few like maybe three or four different bags and boxes or different bags and different pouches that I really really liked and I actually use but other than that I don't want the other ones I don't like them so going along with that another con is all the extra waste so the ipsy for instance comes in the packaging bag the pink packaging bag and then you have your um your pamphlet saying like whatever the topic is for the month and then you have your um zipper pouch that is going to get you know recycled or decluttered or whatever and then you have all the individual boxes that all the items are coming in it's so much waste there is so much waste in these boxes and bags that 
it's a little overwhelming for me because I have been on a lesser waste journey and I've been trying to consume less and recycle and reuse and stuff like that. I do have a series coming up very soon that I'll be filming, but all the extra waste really bothers me. I almost wish I could go into Sephora, give them a card that says my name, what box I'm supposed to get for the month, and just get a handful of those products and go. Like, I don't want the extra packaging that everything has. And these bags and pouches are extra packaging that I don't need. Yes, they're cute, but I'm never gonna use that. What am I gonna use that for? And things like that are a little bit overwhelming to me because of the amount of waste that it, that it brings up and it really bothers me. So I don't really know what to do about that. Personally, I do recycle and reuse a lot of it. I use it for shipping items to family and friends and sh shipping giveaway items, stuff like that. But honestly, I end up recycling most of it because I don't need it. So all the waste is really a big con for me. Okay, and the very last con that I have is something I actually mentioned already, is the fact that we get to try all these high-end items, but the problem is that when I want to buy a high-end item, it's $50, $60, $80, $90. It's so expensive to buy that freaking full-size item. Like, I loved using it as the sample, but when I go and look, for some, for instance, Okay, this, woo, this Paracone MD Hydrating Cloud Cream. I do know this was on the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. I did not end up picking it up. But on the regular, I think this is like $60 for the full size. What? No, I am not going to buy that. Why? Why am I going to spend $60 for a moisturizer when I have my Believe True Cream Aqua Bomb, which is $38 for the full size, which by the way is expensive in my opinion too, but I would way rather purchase that one, which I know works for me year round, than this one where I got a sample of about a month and a half, and I don't know if it's going to work for me year round because I only used it in the winter time. You know what I'm saying? So... Little things like that really bother me when I find a product I really love and it ends up being ridiculously expensive. No, I'm not gonna pay the full price. No, I'm not happy about the 15% off from Sephora coming up soon. Why? 15% is nothing. People treat this sale like it's 50% off. It's not, it's 15% off. If something costs $50, Let's just say, for instance, you do 15% off that, which would be $5 for 10% if you're a um, beauty insider, but if you spend more money, so you're at $45 there, and then you take off the extra 5%, now you're at $42.50. So now that $50 item is only $42.50? Oh my God, it's amazing. I got such a good deal. No, you didn't. And especially if you live somewhere with high, with high taxes, like Canada, for instance, they have like a 15% tax on things. You're basically getting the tax for free. For me, I live in Michigan, that's a 6% tax, so it's basically like me only getting something for 9% off. So, yes, I do appreciate the sales, but 15 and 20% off is just not enough in my opinion. I like getting things at 50% off or, you know, things for free when you can find things for free. So. The high priced items that we get that we love, I know it's a big selling point for them and people will buy them. I have bought things in the past personally, but the fact that they do have such a high price tag really, really bothers me. So anyways, I went off on a long tangent on that one, but I hope you guys enjoyed some of the pros and cons that I brought up about subscription boxes and maybe it got you thinking instead of, you know, getting all the boxes that you get, maybe if you get five or six, maybe cutting it down to two or three because you're not using all these products anyways. And I know getting boxes is like getting presents. I love getting presents. Um, especially when I've already seen the spoiler and I've already forgotten what I'm getting. It's like getting something brand new. And I totally get that. I totally get all the pros and all the cons, which is why I wanted to share my opinions on the pros and cons with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this different style of video. And I hope I got you thinking a little bit about your spending habits and about your reoccurring spending habits, like things that just come automatically that get charged to your card every month, beginning of the month. Here you go. Here's your box. Here's your products. Enjoy. And especially if you don't need any more products. So 
I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!